Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Sunny, your host. So this is going to be a really exciting video because we are going to explore the world of image editing using the incredible DALI API. So for image editing, what we need is we will need an input image, a mask image, and a prompt describing the updated picture. So in this demo, we are going to use a pic of adorable pictures of two dogs. And what we will do is we will erase one of the dog with the help of a tool Okay, it's an online tool and uh, then what we will do is we will replace that erased dog with a cute little rabbit and once we pass in these inputs, okay, that is our input image, mask and our prompt so that you will see that how DALI will work its magic, okay. So I hope you are excited to watch this but before we jump into the tutorial, let me also tell you for those who are new to this channel, this is actually the third video in our DALI series. In the first video, we have explored the image variation using the DALI API and the second video, we looked at to the text to image generation. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, I highly recommend checking them out. And if you want to catch up on these videos or check out any other content I have produced, make sure to click the playlist link in the description below. So without further ado, let's dive into the exciting world of image editing with the DALI. So let's get started everyone. So here we have the readme file as you can see on the screen and I have updated with the playlist link. So if you have not seen the previous videos, so you can simply click on this and you can watch the previous videos on this playlist. And uh, so till now we have performed the first two parts that is image generation and image variations. And now we are going to explore the image edits. So for that, let's go to the our uh, markdown or Jupyter notebook. Okay, where I have already given the all the references that you need and the basic code to start with. So here we have OpenAI docs and image edits. So docs as well from the same. So I will click on this image edits. So this will open our uh, image editing documentation part. So if you see here, so we have an image, we have a mask image, okay, which is again the same image, but there is a, you can see there is an empty space there is a part of the image which is being erased here okay and uh, this is your output and you can see the prompt says a sunlight indoor lounge area with a pool containing a flamingo so wherever there was uh, you can see the image part of the image which was erased is now replaced with the flamingo the rest of the image remains same so what it says that the uploaded image and mask must be both of square png images and they should be less than 4 mb in size and also must have the same dimension as each other. So the non-transparent area of the mask are not used when generating the output. So they don't necessarily need to match the original image like the example above. So like what they're trying to say is that you have to pass an original image and you have to pass a mask image where some part is being erased where you want to uh, put something your some, some new object and then this is how the output will look like and you should also you should uh, pr uh, provide the prompt a complete prompt okay that will uh, describe the entire image so let's try this okay and this is how we are going to use that is image dot create edit method where you will pass image and mask and prompt and the number of uh, output that you want to generate and plus size okay so that's what we are going to do in our example so let's copy this itself okay now this time and let's go back to our code base so here we have like everything is like the previous case and also you can see at the end i have to in order to save the image i have already borrowed the code here and i pasted it here okay and uh, we can make a change here that i want to let's say output edited okay image that is the name next is now here we are going to write our code base okay so let me paste that code that we have borrowed from the documentation so here we have openai.image class and then create edit. So here what this means that you need an image which is of uh, type bytes. Okay. You don't need the uh, like the array form or the image form here. So this will be a byte image and let's call this as an our, our image and this will be our masked image. Let me also be very specific here in bytes. Okay in bytes and here it was going to be our prompt so it will be obviously we will try to do some different prompt here and this will be equals to capital n and this is where the size will be so let me leave the size as it is now we are going to read these two 
images and I as I told you that it should be of bytes type and also I I would like to mention here that images should be of the form of uh, of the format RGBA so what is RGBA RGBA means like it's an RGB image with an alpha channel so alpha means transparency of the image okay so as you know that okay bask is of uh, will be having some transparent area so that is why it should be of this type if you do not provide it then what will happen it will simply give you a uh, invalid request error okay where the image will be of different types so that's that's the error i think we have seen it in the previous examples as well so uh, yeah these are the main requirements for us so let me get the path of this image okay first of all our image let's call it as a path and this will be path and then the image path so right now we do not have the uh, image like right actual images we don't have so how to create that okay so for that uh, i have given a link here that is edit your image so let's click on that so it will open labs.openai.com this i think we have seen in the uh, first or second class where we have been seeing these examples okay which is already there you can even try your own examples here so in the center you will see there is a, a like link which says upload an image to edit so let's click on that and uh, this will open our local files so we will select this that is this image about where two puppies are there so let's open that and it will ask you to crop this image to a square yes let's crop that as well and uh, now let's click on the there are two options edit image or generate variation so let's click on edit image so this will be a frame which is of 1024 1024 size and now let's download this also for our like we will this will be our original image and now let's edit this image so we have an option at the bottom you can see so this is an option to erase the part which you want to erase or you can even uh, type e on your keyboard as a shortcut so let me slightly zoom in here so let's go to this dog and let's erase that and we will replace with something else okay so this is now the the part where the dog is erased okay so let's download this image as well so we will have both the images in the download section and we will move it to our uh, repository okay so i have already moved that those files here you can see dog image here and this is your mask dog image okay so we will read these two files directly in our code so let me write the path for them so again it will be one directory up and it will be dog image dot png that is our original image then this will be an, a mask image so this will be dog mask dog image dot png so this is the two image that we have read right now and now as you know that it's not necessary that it will be of uh, rgba format or png but since we have downloaded it directly from the uh, open ai so obviously it will try to provide you in the same format but uh, let's be very sure we can write a function here which will uh, help us to read these images in rgba format as well as in a perfect square format so for that we will create a function here which is called as uh, read rgba image okay which will take path as an input and also the resized value and uh, it yeah so this is going to be the function for us so let's import the necessary things for it so i will import from pil import image that is nothing but our again pillow library which will help us to do these conversion as well as resize of the image resizing of the images and uh, since i want to return this image as a byte bytes okay so for that we have to import from our io library bytes io and uh, now there is something i want to tell you that most of the function that now people define or in the standard library you may have seen people also tell you that okay what kind of uh, like what kind of type of the argument that you want to pass in that, that is called as annotation of the arguments so for that as you can see here path is of it should be of type path class and resize should be it should be a tuple okay and tuple of two integers so that in order to specify that what i will do is i will import typing okay typing is nothing but it's a library which will help you to uh, like get these annotation done so from typing i will import tuple class okay and uh, i will use this tuple class here and in order to tell that okay it will be of uh, uh, tuple of two integers i will simply say int and then again integer okay and this will this function will will be returning you bytes 
So I will simply call the bytes class here. So that's called is image. That's called as image image annotation. So what will happen whenever you will call this function, uh, when you will hover over it, so it will show you some like what it expects. You can see if I right now if it is uh, uh, just hovering on this, so you will see that it is telling me that okay, the first argument is of type class path, another one is of tuple, and it should be a tuple of two integers. Like let's say if I even hover here, so you can see that it is defined here that it should be of type class any okay and pipe sign means that or it can be any or none so these are the things that is being defined here and also one more thing that you can see that it is what is it what it's return it returns of type any it can be return list or it can return dictionary so that is how uh, that the types are defined the output type of this is defined so in this way it's good to have like it will give you a generic idea okay so let's now start defining this so i will simply say that image is equals to image dot open and let's open the first of all the file from the path and now we will see that if let's say if i don't want to resize my image so obviously i will not pass it anything okay so i will make it as none so right now i'm saying that if resize is not none that means if i have passed some uh, tuple here so in that case i should go for a image resize okay so i will write here image dot resize and resize it with the resize tuple that i have passed okay so tuple could be let's say if it is 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024 so that will be the resized size right now after that i will write here that let's convert the image so i will convert the image to rgb and then after that i want to return the outcome as bytes so for that i will create a bytes array which will uh, initialized by the bytes io class and now what i will do is i will save my image on these bytes array or bytes stream let's call this as a bytes stream and uh, what format i am going to specify here is it's going to be png because that's what the expectation is from this uh, method that i have already uh, got here right so now what i will do i will return these bytes stream and i will call the method get value so this will return the bytes byte image in the bytes format right so uh, this will do our job right so this this is how we will read the image and resize address as well okay so now let's read those images okay so we have our image in bytes this will be is equals to read rgba image and path I'm going to specify is our image path and resize value will be, let's say, uh, 1024 by 1024. So this will give us uh, our image in bytes. And now let's get the our mask image in bytes. Okay. And also after this, we need to get the prompt. So let the prompt say is that it's, we have, let's replace that image with the uh, image of a dog with uh, a rabbit. Okay. So I will say that picture of a dog and a rabbit okay so this will be our prompt and the number of image that i want to generate is let's say and it's equals to three so i think that should be it so let's run this so this will uh, this has read the image we have got the prompt and everything now let's get the response here okay because we are reading, giving us three outcomes so it should be giving us a dictionary of outcomes those image urls okay so we have got this image let's hope that we have got the modified form so if i open this yes you can see that dog was replaced by uh, this rabbit let's look into the another image this is again some slight variation of it yeah this is something very different so you can see that it is working fine right so in this way the image edit works so, so now what we will do is we will uh, simply save that image so let me save that image to our output directory okay so that's great so i think we can see here in the output image outcome so we can see these are the images that we have saved okay so i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial okay this was a fun so now you can experiment with anything if you want you can uh, replace it with something else so i will leave it up to your imagination but make sure that you also check your uh, credits because although it is fun but it obviously it requires some uh, some money so if you have free credits then use it wisely okay or maybe you can use it for fun as of now but when you will put your credit card there obviously make sure that uh, you keep an eye on that as well right so uh, that's all for this demo now in the next exercise we will see that how we can convert all these into a uh, streamlit apps okay so till then keep on learning and keep on exploring thank you all mm -hmm.